Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Shawnee's Prayer Podcast, Season 2, Episode 21. You can find this podcast on various platforms, including YouTube. Please subscribe, download, comment, like, and tell someone else about Shawnee's Prayer. Don't keep it to yourself. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell your co-workers, tell your church family, tell your foes. They need to be encouraged and blessed too. And as always, I start my prayer off with a blood scripture. Coming from Romans chapter 5 verse 9. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Let's go to the throne of grace. <clears throat> Father God, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for another day, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for allowing us to see another Thursday, Father God. We don't take it for granted, Father God, that you have kept us from last Thursday to this Thursday. We don't take it for granted that you have been with us every step of the way. We don't take it for granted that you have extended your grace to us, that you have extended your mercy to us, Father God. In the name of Jesus. We don't take it for granted, Father God, that you have given us breath on today. We don't take it for granted, Father God, that we have eyesight on today. We don't take it for granted, Father God, that we have mobility on today. Father God, someone may be having a difficult time walking. Someone may be having a difficult time seeing. Maybe they are blind. Maybe they are legally blind. Maybe they have cataracts, Father God. Maybe they have glaucoma, Father God. Lord God, maybe someone is going through with pain in their body. Maybe someone has knee problems, Father God. Maybe they need a knee replacement or a hip replacement, Father God. Maybe someone has plantar fasciitis, Father God. Maybe someone has gout, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father God, maybe someone has arthritis, Father God. In the name of Jesus, maybe someone has birth sightis, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, maybe someone is struggling in their mental health, Father God. Maybe, Father God, someone has bipolar disorder. Maybe someone has schizophrenia or schizophrenia with multiple personalities, Father God. Maybe someone has borderline personality disorder. Maybe someone has autism, Father God. Maybe someone has ADD or ADHD, Father God. Maybe someone is battling, Father God, um, dementia, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, or Alzheimer's, Father God. Lord God, whatever it is that we're going through, Father God. Maybe someone has received horrible news on today. Father God, regardless of what we are going through, regardless of our circumstances, regardless of what we are dealing with, regardless of the hurdles, the obstacles, Father God, one thing I know for sure, and I'm going to stand 10 toes down on it, Father God, is that I believe God. I believe you, Lord God. I believe you, Lord God. That is my faith. It, my faith is saying, I believe God through it all, regardless of what the doctor says, regardless of what the mammogram report says, regardless of what the blood test may say. I believe God. That's what we have to get. And that's what we have to stand on, no matter what we are going through, Father God. Maybe someone doesn't have food in their home on today. Maybe someone doesn't know how they're going to feed their children on today. But I want that person to go to the refrigerator, go to the freezer, go to their cabinets and just start saying, I believe God. I believe God. Maybe someone doesn't have any gas in their tank and don't know how they're going to get to work tomorrow. Don't even know how they're going to get from work today to be able to go pick up the kids from daycare to make it back home, Father God. But I want that person to go to their gas tank and say, I believe God. Because one thing I do know, Father God, that you will show up, Father God. You know our needs, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we all don't have the same need, Father Father God, someone is in a dire distress, Father God, someone is in a dire need, Father God, someone may just need 
Oh, God, I just want to be able to get my hair done or buy a new outfit. Someone is saying, God, I need you to help me to pay my light bill. Someone else is saying, God, I just want you to heal my body of cancer. We all have different needs, Father God, but you're the same God and you're the God that can do it all. You're the God that can heal. You're the God that can deliver. You're the God that can set free. You're the God that can provide. You're the God that can make a way. Father God, you're the God that can save. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just come to your Father God in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you will give us the faith to say, I believe God through it all, Father God, and give us the peace of God, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, even when the enemy tries to come and cause us to doubt you, Father God, allow us to have a peace. Even when the enemy tries to come in like a flood, Father God, help us to say, I believe God and help us to say it with full assurance, Father God, that we truly believe God, that we believe you over everything the enemy tries to throw our way. We believe you, Father God, over every weapon he throws our way, Father God. Lord God, help us to say, I believe God and stand on it, Father God. Stand firmly on the I, stand firmly on the believe and stand firmly, Father God, ten toes down on God. Lord God. God, I come to you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. For any of us, Father God, who are maybe lacking in faith, oh God, I pray that you will give us the faith that we need, Father God, to sustain us in a day and time such as this, Father God. Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will just watch over each and every person, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will make a way, open doors, heal, deliver, set free, do whatever you need to do in our lives, Father God. Help us to submit Help us to surrender, Father God, unto thee, unto thy will, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to do only what you have told us to do, Father God. Help us to be obedient, Father God. Help us to listen to your voice, Father God, and only your voice. And help us to be able to recognize your voice, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Even in the midst of all the chaos that may be going on in our minds, Father God, allow us to be able to recognize your voice, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, Lord God, I just come and ask you, Father God, to hold on to us, Father God, and help us to hold on to you, Father God. Help us to hold on to the hem of Jesus' garment, Father God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, Lord God, we're expecting you, Father God, to do miracle signs and wonders, Father God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we're expecting you, Father God, to show up and to show out, Father God, because we believe God. We believe you, God. We believe you, Father God. We believe you, Lord God. And because we believe you, Father God, you are going to allow, Father God, our heart desires to come to pass. You're going to allow our prayers to come to pass. And Lord, I just thank you. Lord, I just praise you. Lord, I honor you. I glorify you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, God. I thank you in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray you. Amen and amen. God bless you and God bless you. Remember, no matter what you are going through, say to yourself, I believe God.